Aiden driving Kunratha in the uh, Botra Centenary race number two. Awkward draw, barrier 12. Uh, look, he's come back to racing in fine form. Yeah, you're right, Wes. Um, awkward draw. Um, quality quality three-year-old field, you know. Um, Bonnie's got a couple real nice ones in it. Um, Bernie went real good on, on the Monday just gone, but our bloke's racing consistent. Um, he seems to be improving every time, you know. He's no real superstar, but I think he's going to be a very, very handy horse in the upcoming year. Whereabouts are you going to try to position him in the run? Yeah, look, we'll probably go back if um, not too far back on the fence would be a bad spot for him. He's pretty versatile, this horse. He can be three wide with cover. He can do a bit of work and he can sprint. So I'll just uh, see how the race plans out early and end up where we end up. Miss Abigail in the Smithfields Fine Food Mare's Pace race number three. Uh, one run back from a spell, finishing seventh, drawn barrier three here. Uh, she's got ability when she... Well, she's got ability, we know that. Whereabouts can she position up in the run? She's not going to be able to cross... You would expect. Hoylake's first lady, no doubt, will be kicking up on the inside. Hopefully you can get a position in the run. And is she ready to win? Yeah. Sorry, I said I'm mozzie. <laughs> um, yeah, no, she's, uh, she's gone too good. Her first up run wasn't wasn't that good. You know, she's probably a bit underdone. But um, we've really stuck the work into her since. And um, this morning on the track, she went probably as good as she ever has. So hopefully we get up in the speed somewhere and tuck her away and let her run home over the final 400. She's not without a show of running a place in that. Just on her work at home to, this morning. All right, so you'd be looking for a position in the run. You don't want to try to zap them early? No, nah, look, she doesn't have blistering gate speed. You don't want to fire up too much because she's a bit of a temperamental female, you know, what they can get like. So um, we'll just uh, just uh, look after her early, try and get across and hopefully lob handy. I don't know what they can get like. <laughs> Forrest Bobo in race number 10 uh, for John Doyle. Uh, resuming, drawn the pole. He has got the speed to be able to hold up. Yeah, he does. Um, he's he's not the worst horse in that kind of field, you know. He's um he's a horse that does love to be on the speed and follow speed pretty well, you know. So I'll speak to John on Friday and decide whether we'll hold the front or hand up. I don't know if there's too much on the outside of me that would drag me into the race a lot, you know. So it might just be the choice to roll the dice and hopefully he's forward enough to win. I think that's the key, isn't it? Depending on how how his fitness levels are, because it looks a very even lineup. Yeah, exactly right. I'll talk to John and see where his fitness levels are at, and if this. If he thinks he's forward enough, I think we'll be holding the top and hopefully from barrel to box. You're training a couple at the moment? Yeah, got a couple. I've just got two um, full around with. Just got my licence back uh, about six months ago, so just got two to full around with while we're not too busy with Dad. So, yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah, really enjoy it, you know. Um, I've quickly learnt there's a few ups and downs, you know, and they're not machines, but um, getting there, getting there. I suppose at home it's probably no different to a normal day at work, albeit there's probably a little bit more pressure on you to get these to perform? Yeah, um, the last one I bought, I bought Big Shot Barbie, just me and a couple of people from the stable bought her for very cheap, just to play around with. Dad told me I was crazy, so I really want to win a race of it just to prove him wrong. <laughs> well, the bottom line is you've got to win a race now. Yeah, exactly. She, she might be there for the next three years, but she'll win one eventually. Best of luck with Big Shot Barbie. Good luck on Friday night. Cheers, mate.